one one person in the jeepney who asked me uh, do you have girlfriends so i said yes how many <laughs> who is your girlfriend i said i have more than 30 girlfriends kumusta maputi maganda mo ba ga maganda maganda ang gabi maganda ang tangali then uh, what is that salamat po sumahin niyo ang sumahin niyo ang oh, of course in that time my mother said you know your father had another uh, dreams about you he already decided to send you in a shop uh, our that kuyas shop and like that like that like that why listening that you know i was just realizing you know i was nothing before i can surely say that i i i, have, I know my jesus called me he lifted you up yes before the sight of your people of course my prayer about this philippines everybody should be one in christ there's no room for division Actually, I didn't think about marriage. Oh, you have had no girlfriends before the seminary. I can say I have a girlfriend. How many, father? <laughs> They would ask. I didn't say to them. <laughs> right. It's only in my heart. All right, I see. Okay, I understand. Because I didn't share anyone. All right. <laughs> yeah. But actually, when I was in my tenth grade or ninth grade, cricket was my girlfriend. All right. sports was a you know i i got many beat by my parents only because of this cricket you know it in my you know i don't know whether i can how it may be a <laughs> it may not be a good message to the youngsters you know i will think like this i you know during those days i will i, I was thinking like this i can write the examinations next time like you not play next time <laughs> you know it's a kind of joke you know yeah, that kind of mentality that's what i am i wanted to say i can write the examination second time but i cannot play the match today tomorrow <laughs> so that was my world actually you know playing enjoying the friends so and then like just like david was busy doing his yes work in the bible there are many examples like that god told him yes yeah. i don't know there is a huge change you know for example before the before entering into the seminary everybody was calling you know calling me da da means a kind of colloquial way you know we, we just call other person buddy you know uh, da means in a malayalam like, word like, just like buddy uh and after entering into the seminary i just went to the same place same ground for play during the vacation time the status changed oh yeah they are calling me brother oh there was a sudden change right shai sam brother oh my god you know my best buddies <laughs> we didn't say even the names just you know nicknames but on that day they were calling me brother shai sam I think there is something there is something different you know they are seeing something different in me and of course it should be the experience of everyone all the seminarians all the brothers and all the priests while they sharing uh, you know their vocation journey this part should be there <laughs> anyway of course you also experiencing like that anyway uh, so what i am saying After entering into the seminary, my world changed. Everything changed. Actually, you know, I'm I'm not a good student. I'm a, I'm not a good uh, child in my place. Actually, we can say what I'm saying. You know, I'm not good in studies. I was all you know always failure in many subjects, and I you know until tenth grade. All right, until. 10th grade yeah i can i can i can show you my 10th grade certificate you know it is my in my hand i you know in that certificate i already failed three subjects three oh subjects 
just imagine and i don't know one day you know I'm, of course i used to go for the holy mass every day every day every day you yeah. go to mass yes every day you know maybe if there is two masses i will go because uh, i was very you know not only me during that time almost all the children from my place uh, many sacristans in can... south india right so yeah kerala. kerala and my place is very christian ma- place yeah my so, house is very much near to the church all right so every day i will go to the church of course my father's influence my mother's influence uh, my parents influence were there so anyway i used to go for the church every day maybe because of that reason i selected to go for the vocation camp and great then there are some uh, divine interventions actually in my you know after my 10th grade of course i i could pass you know there are there is system even if you are failure in the subject if there is there is there is less mark you know a minimum mark i have that minimum mark oh my in the group so i could get the pass so there is no no out of 600 i got only 2 for no 270 for something like that it was very less in the in the numbers but you passed Yeah, just pass. We can say <laughs> passing. Just, this. just pass. Yeah, right. And after that, uh, I uh, just went for the vocation camp. It was also a, a kind of uh, we can say comedy. <laughs> you know, I asked one of my former, you know, my senior. We can say senior, uh, senior sacristan. Uh, he already went to the seminary. So I was asking him, uh, man, I want to join. the seminary is like how how can i go how, what i want to do then he said ah you want to go to seminary yes okay come with me and next day you know i think two or three days after that you know uh, i just went for the vocation camp so this man was with me uh, and i reached there in front of the the place where the camp going on and he said that now you can go i'm not going <laughs> Oh my he just went back and I went yes. to the seminary. Can you say it was you were really called by God? I mean those interventions, divine interventions you say? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Because after that vocation camp, you know, it was a turning point. I didn't expect something like that. It was a wonderful, joyful experience. How long was it? Was it only 3 days camp? 3 days camp, right. It was only 3 days camp. and the the people the 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 young stays over there enjoying with with Christ we can say you know singing dancing sharing and we have some outings i didn't get that those good experience in my house actually all right yeah we can say like that you know i was a, you know of course so you decided to join the camp yeah i decided to <laughs> join but the thing is i have only less mark you know 10 3 and you know, i have just passed i don't know whether this uh, the congregation will select me yeah. because i don't have much mark anyway uh, they called me <laughs> okay you can come to the seminary and uh, you know you have to concentrate your studies like that prayers or you know, many things you know no to my surprise after that decision i didn't fail any subject oh until now lord until oh. now i didn't fail any subjects i think that may be the real proof it's that god gave me he's calling he, he called you yeah when i am thinking that you know uh, i don't know i i didn't fail after that No. I can show you my certificates, my 11th grade, 12th grade certificate, my college certificate, philosophy, theology. Uh, you know, even after my theology, I got more than 75 percent, you know, mark. So what I'm saying, I didn't fail after that. That's why now I am uh, doing my PhD. Yeah. Now I'm doing PhD. You know, just imagine, you know. actually there is another fun factor in 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 between after my 10th grade my papa decided me to send for the sales boy 
in one of the store over there. All right. <laughs> yeah, he already decided <laughs> after 10th grade. He anyway. had plans for you, right? Yeah, my father already decided, you know, anyway, I will not get any place for 11th standard studies. You know, I don't have much mark. So, the schools will not uh, allow me because I don't have mark. So, my papa, okay, we can stop the studies and send him <laughs> for the job. And right. he already decided those things. And right. he already discussed those matters with uh, his friends. All right. And, you know, uh, and he, uh, one of his friends, you know, he, okay, you can send him to my shop, in a med actually medical shop. All right. So, he can be a salesman here. So, okay, it will be a good, very good help and I can give a good salary to him like that. He already made an agreement with that friend. I didn't know those things because, you know, I said to my father, Father, I want to go for, to the seminary. Then he allowed me, okay, you can go. Oh. He thought that I will come back. <laughs> I will go back to the house. <laughs> yeah, go back anyway. <laughs> but I didn't go back. And after five years, you know, I got the... the the cassock, you know, yeah. uh, the habit, the religious habit. So, after that one day I was, I just went for the vacation to my house from the seminary and I was talking with my mother, you know, I think an evening, just, just have a, a family talk, you know. During that time, my mother said, you know, your father had another uh, dreams about you. He already decided to send you in the shop, uh, our, that Kuya's shop. And like that, like that, like that. While listening that, you know, I was just realizing. You know, I was nothing before. I, one more fun factor is there, you know. Uh, when I was 10th grade, you know, just when I got the 10th grade, just passed. So in my, you know, local territory, there is a club. A youngsters right. club. Every year they will give prizes uh, to the winners. Oh. So after you know, only you know tenth grade and twelfth grade is some of the bad years like that you know. So some of the just crucial points. So they will give prizes to the tenth grade winners and also twelfth grade winners. So after tenth grade I didn't get any you know just just pass okay so. I get a, a, a kind of participation prize like that. But you know, wonder thing. After oh no, I, after tenth grade, I joined the seminary. So one year, first year aspirancy, and second year I joined in another college, especially the eleventh uh, and twelfth studies. After twelfth studies, twelfth uh, grade studies, I got the mark out of six out of six hundred. You know, I got four twenty four. And I was the last in the seminary, but I am the first in that locality. I was the, I am, I was the first in the locality. Wow. So do you know, <laughs> I was still last in the seminary, seminary other brothers, among the other brothers, but I was first among in that locality. So I got the first prize from that club. Amazing. So I didn't expect such thing in my life. Every year still, I think still, those club is giving the prize uh, money or something like that to the winners, to the win the toppers, maybe one, two, three, the first place, second place and third place. Yeah. And ten after 10th grade, I was the last one in from that locality and I joined the seminary. First year, you know, after the first year, second year, I joined the 11th grade uh, in, in the seminary itself, you know, and uh, 12th grade, after 12th grade, I'm still last in the seminary people, but first in my locality. Wow, amazing. I mean, of God course, it, during God that, lifted you up. Um, of your, course. Your you know, during that time, it was a very less in number in that year. Anyway, I was the first. But I'm saying, you know, while seeing all these things, I can surely say that I, 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 have, I know my Jesus called me. He lifted you up yes. before the sight of your people. Of course. And you know, after that philosophy, I got more mark and theology, more mark. I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, you powerful know. Powerful sign that he really called you. Yeah. Of course. How can I deny all those things? Can you see why I am here in Philippines? If I am 
a salesman over there how can i reach another country not another country how can i go out of the state of kerala just imagine now i am here and studying doctorate in a very good university right? yeah, one of one of the number one universities in asia yeah. just imagine how god is guiding me so how was it like when you were finally ordained after how many long how many years after joining 15 years 15 years after yeah. joining the seminary after 10th grade you know i was only 10 that means 15 year old right. and my 15 and years of uh, formation seminary formation 15 years that's yeah. quite long <laughs> in, oh. in my congregation you know first year aspirancy two years plus one plus two and two years novitiate and one year regency and two years for philosophy three years for theology one years for regency and one year for diaconate amazing, ministry amazing amazing you know but from my own experience when you enjoy every moment of it i mean it doesn't feel like that long right you know after entering into the seminary every year i was enjoying yeah first enjoying, year excited for you know I, I, when i was in my house uh, i used to go for the football i like to play football and cricket so without cricket and football i don't know how can i survive so i was thinking when i joined the seminary how can i play but in the seminary there is timing for playing <laughs> yeah so It's i a got a chance to, life. yeah i got the time for playing then it was my dream now and i was also uh, like to play you know the driving you know it's my simple simple dreams you know uh, one of my dream I, during that time it was a time of f1 race f1 race you know the games and all so while playing those things i need to be a good driver means the the, the racer how can i be i can be a, a racer in, in when i joined the seminary but you know to my surprise you know i i can i can say i travel uh, i travel you know i i, I drew the car almost 200 km per hour <laughs> so what i'm saying you know everything was possible even if you are in the seminary you know i i i got a chance to travel almost uh, maybe in a one state to another state yeah it was a time of pandemic actually so there was no public uh, facilities the the rail and also the flight so my superior want, wants to go to another state especially not kerala another state so it's a seven hours journey actually seven or eight hours journey so okay i can come because i i love to drive so yeah, you drove like a racer yeah, so you know <laughs> like there was pro. no much there, there was no much vehicle another car yeah so it was wonderful opportunity yeah. for me but i'm not saying uh, it's not a crazy thing but a little little, little bit little joy said yeah little joy so i got a many chance to drive you know all my dreams were fulfilled all were dreams were you know even if it is small all my dreams were fulfilled wow. you know what i'm saying i was thinking is it possible when i am entering into the seminary but after many years or after some years it is possible oh my god what i'm saying knowingly or unknowingly my simple dreams were fulfilled by the lord yes yeah yeah there are, of course there are still more simple simple <laughs> dreams <laughs> so anyway you have surrendered to him so what i am saying you planted yes you know if god calls you of course he will make wonder on you he qualifies the call everything will be qualified by god what can you advise young people who last today they are inclined to yeah last Join. day in my congregation people you know especially my province they were conducting the vocation camp and i was asking the one who uh, you know was the in charge how many candidates were there for the camp they said 23 it's a good number but uh, all of those people are from different different class different different grades So anyway 23 people came what i'm saying you know 
why people are coming why people are coming in at this you know in this modern age there are many facilities uh, internet facilities many other facilities still people are coming to the vocation why because they are seeing something special in in vocation and of course even amid social media right yes. internet and, and of course you know it is not permissible in the seminary but still people are coming with a good heart i know some places you know some people they already uh, just resigned the job government job and joined the seminary in my place there are people like that so what i want to say if you have a small spark about the coal just light it just light it and you will see the biggest flame of christ in your future life i'm not a i'm not you know what we can say uh, a great you know i'm not a great priest not like that from my simple experience or humble experiences i can say if you have a coal just light yes. it you will see the big light we can say big light or oh, a big flame and you can share that flame to everyone and i were you know i used to say that example in the homilies if you can see the light in christ that light will make you a big light so if you have a light share the light which you are doing now in sharing who is the light that is jesus christ yeah so share jesus christ and everybody can experience the same joy you're leaving us in a few days your message for your friends here in the philippines and for More the philippines No, I you know some whenever I, I'm getting the time I used to see that video I have the video yeah, the ordination, ordination video yeah. and the background music is this is the music you are a priest forever you know that song yeah so I was just thinking why this much arrangement you know my church the entire church was preparing for my ordination do you know before my ordination my in my house my parents and also the lo- local uh, people gathered together and praying they were they were praying for me they were praying for my ordination i think almost one month 
ബിഫോർ മൈ ഓർഡിനേഷൻ ദ ക്രിസ്മസ് സീസൺ ആക്ച്വലി മൈ ഓർഡിനേഷൻ വാസ് ട്വന്റി നയൻ ഡിസംബർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ അറ്റ് ദോൺ ദാറ്റ് മന്ത് യുനോ ഡിസംബർ ദെൻ ദർ മന്ത് പ്രേയിങ് ഡേയ്സ് ഇൻ മൈ ഹൗസ് especially with the other local mothers and some some fathers so what i am saying a huge kind of preparation happened uh, before my ordination and everybody w- was looking uh, that day everybody was looking that day and also i was also exciting on that day and you know the bishop on that day my that the, the one who gave me the, the ordination you know he said said in his homily in a, in a, a, a small story or a symbol it is just like the bird the bird who making the nest and the oh and the, the, the children coming together in that nest and this mother is giving the food just like that a priest is giving or sharing the food the his his body and blood the body and blood of jesus christ to everyone you know he was symbolizing in another way but what i'm saying there is yeah it is it is it is true when we are you know when i don't know uh, how can i say in english there are something you know of course i'm not good as, you know as, as I, i can say i am not that much good in english uh, 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 you know yeah that is another reality once i reach here people are saying your good english is good <laughs> nobody said before to well, me well better than yeah, nobody others. said like that in my life really yes <laughs> you know i am in my place i am not that much good in english when i reach here you people are saying you are good in english <laughs> better than us maybe <laughs> no no i am not saying like that but what i'm saying if i am there i will not give i, I will not receive this comment <laughs> you know they were they were comparing with another priest before the former priest i think uh, from vietnam priest i think so what i'm saying yeah even if we are less in some merits or some uh, some of our own personal achievements god will make it everything perfect he magnifies right yes you know just imagine you know you can ask to my batch mates there are many good speakers you know in my batch you know there are many good english speaking people while listening those people oh my god how can i say like that you're mesmerized i mean you just you just adore them right you know they, in so my good. batch there are people who can speak very well english <laughs> and i was just wondering and when i reach here you people are saying oh you are good in english i can, we can understand your english i th- i can say that is because you know i don't know english there is no other language <laughs> you can communicate with the people <laughs> yeah i cannot speak another language here only english <laughs> so you know the other day when i reach here you know i was you know after i think two or three months after two or three months uh my mother was asking me is it okay with the people to communicate the things uh then i said yes mother <laughs> i can communicate now <laughs> because there is Which no mean? other there is no other option it's not a way but to speak english if i right? want to get food i need to speak english <laughs> if i need to get uh, any personal needs yeah. i need to speak english there is exactly. no other option exactly <laughs> my language is malayalam and i can speak some of the indian languages uh, maybe tamil i can speak maybe kannada very little maybe hindi very little hindi, yeah. hindi is our national language so uh, you know i can speak a little bit hindi what i am saying this is entirely different tagalog i don't know what is this thing <laughs> But now you know a good few well of some words. of the words like yeah what? now i can get some of the words you can say kumusta kumusta maputi pagandam magam magandam gambi pagandam tangali 
then uh, what is that salamat po sumainya bang sumainya bang ah, of course the doxology yeah. many people loved that doxology i know They many people loved that answer. doxology so uh, yeah i think god will magnify you he multiplies and magnifies our good the, what is good with, it, with us he has some yeah. great plans upon each person so what he, are your hopes for the future for yourself now you know uh, i will leave philippines by may 5 and my superior uh, told me you will have an appointment in seminary so most probably in india yeah most probably i will be in seminary but i can work in the field of counseling and also pastoral ministry i love pastoral ministry to do you know the the sacraments doing the, the to, so i love pastoral ministry actually so uh, when i am you know that is my dream i don't know uh, of course uh, all those things depending upon my congregation my superior will decide if he send me for other purpose yeah you know there is a vow for obedience <laughs> so yeah we love by my superior so And finally father what's your prayer for the filipinos having seen the philippines in in its beauty and the, the downsides yes uh, i have prayer? seen many poor people over here yeah many poor people especially this tondo manila you know our other priests they were in other makati area or pasay area or something like that so when they share the things it is different from here it is different yeah and you know but one thing i can say even if they are poor in money they are rich in love these people are very much rich in love uh, the other day some of our uh, malayali means our congregation priest came here for a gathering during that day to my surprise some the street children you know some children are here they just ran to me and hug me everyone i didn't expect something like that and they just came to me and just hug they, they everybody knew, they surrounding you. with me they knew you right by seeing these things my other priest oh my god you have a good company <laughs> with these people actually it was first time oh and after that time after that incident many time they repeated that thing <laughs> the children you, you know usually i give some uh, something for the you know some candy or something like that what i'm saying there are many people out here i go you know uh, I'm not uh, uh, what do we can say there are wealthy people affluent people but there are no, some no I am saying I am not self you know I'm not becoming a self person because uh, I got many chances to give or uh, you know help the poor people here in this place actually many people I got, I got many social work we can say I can say every you know still I'm I'm, I'm doing some help for the poor Uh, I didn't do these things in my place. I didn't do these things in my place. There's a few poor people there, at least in your place. Maybe like that, maybe the street, you know. But here the situation is different. Yeah. Many poor people are here. So, as you ask me the question, you know, uh, what is your prayer? My prayer about these Philippines everybody should be one in Christ and no room for division yes yeah. there is no room for division and do the work of Jesus Jesus will make you rich in love richer in love yes of course we are already rich i think but richer more than yeah uh, in love yes no division there is no division after that so you know i actually i said some of the sacristans you can do one thing you know during that time there was a i think a madman 
you know who lost his dress and he was walking along these streets so i i told some of the sacristans we can collect some money and i i, I can also uh, contribute contribute uh, and buy a good dress for that man there are many people out there you know uh, even if i so if i'm getting the food from the places i used to give the uh, one ate over there you know with the dogs and all every time i used to give that ate and there are many uh, uh, in the streets of course many people are helping those people but we can help them we can help them in the streets thank you for your prayer thank you father very good one for this wonderful sharing thank you for <laughs> your life you are a gift to the church you are a gift to us here i don't know whether my english is good or my you know my well, conversation well the lord magnifies <laughs> well, my uh, conversation is okay for you my thoughts are okay for you i don't know like we don't want to say goodbye we're, we're going to say see you later see you later yes later. Uh, that is the good uh, apt way see you later <laughs>